Real estate market. Let's let's jump in and talk about the local Rhode Island real estate market. What's happening here? If you follow me on social media, which I'd like to invite you to do, um, I, I, at facebook.com backslash Desperado team or link up with me on LinkedIn, Emilio Desperado the fourth. Um, basically, what you're going to see is you're going to see videos, and I put a video out there recently, and a lot of people were pretty amazed by this. The median single family home price in Rhode Island is 17% higher this year in 2020 than it was at this time last year in 2019. There are 47% fewer homes on the market. So it's like, whew, that's crazy. Think about that for a second. So when people are like, why is the housing market booming so much? Why, what is going on? Like, aren't we in a pandemic? Yeah, we are. And what this pandemic has done is it had made people realize that they're probably in the wrong home. You know, a lot of people have actually increased their home sizes and uh, their, their backyards. They, they wanted larger homes. They wanted to move out of the cities and into the suburbs. I got to tell you, we've got an influx, an influx of people moving from Boston and New York and Chicago and California into Rhode Island. The Midwest as well, you know, pe people are just, they're, they're sick and tired of living in these large cities and paying insane amounts of money per square foot on their housing. And Rhode Island, if, if your agent knows how to seek out those buyers, is seeing just such a tremendous amount of activity and people willing to spend top dollar because they're getting a better bang for their buck here in the ocean state. The suburbs are booming, right? And, and, and rural areas are booming because you have people that are like, you know what, I'm sick and tired of all the restrictions. I'm sick and tired of all the risk, sick and tired of all the violence, all the crap going on in cities. I want to get out and I want some serenity. So they're coming here. You know, they're, they're getting oceanfront properties or they're getting a property in Foster or Gloucester or anywhere. I mean, even our communities with tighter neighborhoods, lots like, like Warwick, right? We've got some areas where you've got 5,000 square foot lots, 10,000 square foot lots. That's, those are large compared to some other areas, you know, where you have no yard or where you have no personal space. So Again, the, the things are changing. The dynamics of real estate are changing. People are working from home. The demands of consumers are changing right now. It might not always last like this. You know, I can tell you that's it's definitely not going to always last like this where we have a very limited supply of homes. I and mean, when you think about it, we have half as many houses on the market this year as last year. Um, that, that, can't, that, that can't stay like this forever. No way.